Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we're not at the range for once. It's kind of wet and rainy outside, and then my wife took my five kids to town, and so it's kind of quiet in the house. So it's a great day for a house video. But if you are really big in the gun industry, you may have seen what I'm about to show you. Otherwise, you're in for a real treat because it's like straight out of James Bond's Q factory there. Now, we all know it is very important to keep our firearms concealed and uh, secured. And now, See, you see all my guns right behind me? No, you don't. You're thinking the safe, right? We'll get to that. But check this out. I have a little RFID card right here. I'm going to slap it right here on this hot spot. You hear the beep beep? Da, 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 da. Isn't that cool? And so right here I have my SBR 300 Blackout and my 9mm MMP. Just right there, quick and easy access. Now sure, I've got the gun safe over there too. And that's, uh, that's the reason I picked the digital gun safe uh, lock. Because, you know, a combination at night, that's going to take forever. But with this, uh, it's a little faster. But I tell you what, in a couple of years I've had a few mishaps. Not mishaps, just I found the downfall of a quick combo uh, a digital safe because if you're putting in the code and you well you, you put it in too fast you're distracting and, and you're trying crud that's what happens you shut it down when you put the wrong code in and then now we're locked out until the timer wants to allow us to go again so i didn't like that very much and of course i'm not going to leave my guns unsecured so this tactical wall thing was a perfect um a solution for that. And so this RFID card just works. You can program. It comes with a programming card too. So you can program, you know, any if you need to buy some extra keys, they have like a key fob and then these cards and what I did, you know, check this out. My Christmas card opens it up. Now I just got I got a card taped on the back. And so you can have that easy access quick and uh, there's another hot spot over here. You may could see they, they, they mark it right here with a sticker when, when it comes from the factory. I peeled that one off. I still left that one on so I know. But it's, it's, it's right over here, of course, where you have the sensors if you need to check it out. Installing it was a cinch. They do stress time and again. Hey, do this with a buddy. Don't try to mount it, uh, mount it by yourself because they know gun guys. We're just going to do it ourselves. But they, they, I read it like five, six different times in the manual that uh, you shouldn't do it by yourself. So I had a little help. Mounted it right up. You find some studs, you're good to go. This is their 12 by 42 inch model. And uh, I wanted it so I could have my uh, rifle in there. Of course, that's got a big long suppressor from Jim Tech on the front so a 16 and even a 20 inch rifle that if it had a collapsible stock should probably fit in that um, the foam comes uh, just a, a, a blank piece and then I laid it out to cut it I was thinking more along the lines of, of laying it out like a uh, like you would your luggage just for the uh, at maximum um, efficiency so we can put the most in here and then later I was like dang it I can't grab my gun like that so I kind of modified it so it's ergonomic there now on safety absolutely do not put a loaded gun in here and because when you have your guns inside this foam it's way too easy to grab inside the trigger guard so what I did was I made sure I cut extra space around it so especially here on the pistol so I can grab the the, the pistol without putting my finger inside that trigger guard and what I also did is I made a special cutout for my live rounds there so it reminds me to take it out of the chamber as well as uh, as well as um, uh, having a place to put it so I can put my topped off round somewhere. Now the only thing I have had issue with is that my foam adhesive has given away under the weight of the rifle and I am going to need to re-glue that. But if I want to just change this all up again and put different guns in, it's only 10 bucks for an extra set of foam. And so this is my uh, LaRue uh, SBR and 300 Blackout and uh, it works great. Usually I have the sling off, I just took it off for the video and the only downside is it didn't let me keep my Alzetta light configured on it, but it's a LaRue mount, so it's a quick mount, so it's no big deal. And to close it up, you just you just shut it. And say if 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 it was a if I needed to keep it open for a while, you could just keep it open. If you change your mind, you hit the lock and you're like, oh, I don't really need it in there. You just wait three seconds or so. There, it clogged was then locked up again, and it is it, 
It's just fun. It's, it's neat. It's secure. It's definitely got the cool guy factor to it. And so that's fun to show off as well. If it's a little bigger than what you're looking for, they also have, I think it's like their 8x12 inch shelves. And that'll hold a pistol. Those start at about $245. The rifle length shelves start at about $400. Add an extra $100 bucks for the RFID system. The magnetic system uses little just magnet locks. Those are just magnets that you put in the hot spots. The problem with that is you've got to put them both up there. And so that seemed too slow to me, which is why I opted for the RFID one. There has been a few times I've had to wave this around a little more than I wanted to to find the hot spot, but it does work. And if you're thinking about what's the battery life, 30,000 activations. And it's a CR123 battery as well. So I just, I, I, you know, do it like there's no tomorrow and not worry about the battery life at all. If you want to be safe, put it in every year or five and you're going to be just fine. They also have a lot of neat um, accessories. You want the LED lights, motion lights and stuff like that. They, I saw a flashlight holder, some fun stuff there. Now, if you're not into the shelves, you can get mirrors that mount flush with the wall and you cut out your wall behind it. They have lamps and nightstands and uh, even mod walls. And uh, here's, here's a neat one too. Okay, I don't normally keep this one loaded, but if you have an issue, you have your issue box with, oh, there we go. It holds my Walther PPS, even with a, a little bit of an extended mag. And so that was kind of cool too. So uh, there's a lot of different options. If you want some neat James Bond type concealment for your firearms or anything else, you can stuff knives and pepper spray or the TV remote so your kids don't take it. Stuff like that and in any of these things. Just check out tacticalwalls.com. Neat stuff. You're going to like it. I have. Y'all stay safe. Keep your gun secure. There you go. I'm out.